with the Mortal Kombat film just weeks away, we here at Fat Ninja have been playing our favorite arcade fighter, reliving every bone-breaking punch and gory fatality in anticipation of what we will finally get to see when the film releases. Over the years, the Mortal Kombat sequels, and especially with the last three entries, we have gotten some iconic pop culture characters as well. Since the release of the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, it won't be long before NetherRealm drops another MK sequel. So it got us thinking. We sat down and came up with a list big enough to fill an arena on its own, and then whittled it down to 12 characters who should appear in Mortal Kombat 12. I'm your host, Jackie K. Let's get this tournament going. Fight! Number 1, Pinhead from Hellraiser. What's your pleasure, Mr. Cotton? One of the three main Cenobites, the Lord's Pell, Pinhead is the master torturer of souls. With every inhumane tool to flay, pierce, rip, and burn the flesh from a body, Pinhead would make an excellent addition to the extended roster in the Mortal Kombat series. The box. You opened it. We came. His movesets could include the Chains of Hell, being able to summon otherworldly demons, and stealing the souls of his victims. An equal opponent to the likes of Shang Tsung, Ermac, and Quan Chi, he could add to the roster of magically inclined demigods. They could outfit him with three iconic costumes, the classic leather, the World War I officer, and the Ascended, each one providing a unique opportunity for combos and fatalities. He could even summon other Cenobites during one of these fatalities as they gather around their newest victim to explore infinite dimensions of pain. Your suffering will be legendary. Number two, the Max from The Max. If you don't know who this character is, let me give you a little bit of backstory. The Max is about a homeless man in love with his social worker, who one day comes across a purple superhero costume. Once he puts on the costume, he cannot remove it. Meanwhile, a serial rapist and murderer, Mr. Gone, terrorizes the city and develops a fixation on Julie, the social worker. The Max occasionally dreams of the Outback, a mystical jungle world where Julie is the queen, and he must protect her at all costs. This sometimes takes over into the real world, and when she is threatened by Mr. Gone, Max decides to take matters into his own hands and destroy him. What would make the Max an awesome addition to the Mortal Kombat series is that he is a brutal and universe-hopping superhero with unlimited potential. Two of his greatest weapons are his horned fists, forged from jamming them into a volcano. It certainly would be a more colorful character on the roster, something we haven't seen much of yet outside of the DC vs. MK game. What do you guys think? How many of you have seen the Max? Number 3, Worf from Star Trek. Sir, I protest. I am not a merry man. Naturally, if any species from Star Trek were to participate in a life or death tournament, Klingons are the obvious choice. And who could be one of the most popular and proficient fighters amongst the Klingon ranks other than Lieutenant Commander Worf, son of Moog? In keeping with Mortal Kombat's three distinct character variation selections, Worf could be represented from his different appearances throughout the Star Trek franchise. We could have TNG-era Security Chief Worf, DS9-era Captain of the Defiant Worf, and 2409 Ambassador to the Klingon Homeworld Worf. Each variant would come equipped with a unique Klingon weapon, such as the Batleth, a Doc Tog, and a Disruptor Rifle, for example. Also, being an expert in multiple martial arts, it would be interesting to see what kind of unique combos they could come up with. Star Trek in video games has seen many gameplay styles, but never has it breached into the fighting genre, so this would be an interesting new avenue for the series to take. Number 4, Pennywise from IT. I'm every nightmare 
you ever had. I am your worst dream come true. I'm everything you ever were afraid of. If you don't know who Pennywise is and what he can do, then you've been living under a rock. And if that's the case, let's move the boulder and drop some knowledge. Pennywise is an interdimensional, eternal cosmic being. He has an insatiable appetite and can shapeshift into some of your worst nightmares to spike your adrenaline, which to him is just salting the meat. Needless to say, his abilities would make him a fearsome opponent in the world of Mortal Kombat. It's hard to nail down exactly what his movesets would be, given that he can literally embody anything he chooses. They also have an opportunity to play around with costume skins, including both the 1990 and 2017 variations, but also the original inspiration of Ronald McDonald. Pennywise is definitely one of those horror icons that terrifies almost anybody who has heard of him, and will make a very welcome addition to the roster. Number 5, Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Tonight I dine on turtle soup. We've already had the four turtles in NetherRealm's other successful franchise, Injustice 2, but what about the big bad himself, Shredder? A student of many martial arts, able to fight with a variety of weapons, and decked out in sharp, spiked, samurai-inspired armor, Shredder would make a great adversary of the other ninja fighters. With classic skins like the 1980s cartoon, or the 90s film version, including Super Shredder after he drank the ooze, he would be a nostalgic and impressive new combatant. One thing that I would love to see is Shredder getting a friendship ending where they can both dine on some delicious turtle soup. Number 6, Marv from Sin City. Excellently portrayed by Mickey Rourke in the Robert Rodriguez live adaptation of the graphic novel Sin City, Marv is a beast of a man built on broken bones and bloody bar brawls. He is a violent and unstable man suffering with hallucinations and paranoia. Being 7 foot 9 inches tall doesn't hurt his reach in his endless fighting lifestyle either. Able to withstand as much punishment as he can deal out, he'd rival any fan of Kotal Khan as their new favorite character. Number 7, Ash Williams from Evil Dead. <laughs> what isn't there to say about Ash Williams? The S-Mart stock boy turned Apocalypse King, and protector of the Earth from the realm of the dead. He is also responsible for unleashing the dead in the first place. Throughout three feature films and a TV series that lasted for three seasons, Ash has battled all manners of monstrous nightmare creatures. In the second film, Ash gained his iconic chainsaw hand, which would make for an excellent weapon in the Mortal Kombat franchise, as seen before with the introduction of Leatherface in Mortal Kombat X. This is my boomstick! With the Necronomicon at his side, and also his trusty boomstick, Ash could be a combo-heavy, damage-delivering, effective offense fighter. Not to mention, some hilariously gruesome fatalities to grace our screens in glorious, over-the-top fashion. Hail to the king, baby. Number 8, Darkman from Darkman. A Batman-esque, mad scientist, anti-hero fits right in with the ever-expanding cast of characters fighting for dominance. From the mind of Sam Raimi, Darkman is a true vigilante seeking revenge on those who would attempt to take over the world through nefarious means. Handy with crafting many different gadgets and the ability to disguise himself as anybody, 
Darkman could replace the hole left by Striker for more tactical fighters. The fact that Darkman is also disfigured fits well with other characters in Outworld that wear masks of various sizes and colors. You don't need a pretty face to whoop some butt. Number 9. Toxie from the Toxic Avenger The product of Traumaville, Toxie was a simple man who came in contact with radioactive sludge and was reborn as the Toxic Avenger. Horrifyingly mutated and misunderstood as a monster, Toxie uses his inhuman strength and his healing abilities to protect and save the environment. There was also a cartoon TV show spin-off called Toxic Crusaders, which had a run in the 90s in Canada. The theme of it similar to Captain Planet and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, aka Fighting Pollution. This show, however, made up an alien race from the planet Smogula. These Smogulans often worked with the government officials within the fictional town of Traumaville, New Jersey. While I don't remember the TV show, I recommend that everyone see the Toxic Avenger movie. Number 10, Pyramid Head from Silent Hill. Pyramid Head, also known as Triangle Head in Japan, or the Boogeyman, is a punishment inflicted upon James Sunderland through his guilty conscience manifesting as an eight-foot-tall, giant, blade-wheeling masochist. An embodiment of torture, Pyramid Head's brute strength and unwavering devotion to killing his enemies makes a perfect fit for a creature to be used in the tournament by Outworld. As one of his finishing moves, I would love to see him headbutt the losing opponent with that giant metal pyramid and split them gruesomely apart in bloody detail. All while a chorus of faceless nurses do their strobing dances around the remains. Number 11, Conan from Conan the Barbarian. Conan, what is best in life? Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and they hear a lamentation of their women. That is good. That is good. What better character than Conan the Destroyer himself, a warrior who has battled gods, monsters, and armies of men to make his bloodthirsty debut in Mortal Kombat? Conan can be depicted in various ages, from a young, inexperienced arena fighter to the adventurous barbarian and finally, the kingly conqueror he is destined to become. He is skilled in many bladed weapons, and is known to brutally annihilate his enemies. It would be awesome if they could get Arnold Schwarzenegger to voice the character as the nostalgic throwback much like the Terminator in Mortal Kombat 11. A final shot of Conan drinking the blood of his enemies from a goblet will be a victory screen that haunts many opponents. Number 12, Richter Belmont from Castlevania. Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! A descendant of the vampire-hunting Belmont clan, Richter has made his biggest impact in Symphony of the Night. The sole purpose of the Belmonts is to destroy Dracula and stop the dimension of evil from taking over the world. Trained in the use of multiple holy weapons and an expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat, Richter's introduction into the Mortal Kombat universe where demons are found aplenty would be the perfect answer to the need of a demon slayer. I, for one, would love to see him brandish his chain whip and armed with the power of the cross as he blasts Quan Chi back into Outworld using a ray of God's light. Finish him! What did you think of our list? Any characters we didn't mention that you'd like to see make an appearance in an upcoming sequel? Disagree with any of our choices? Feel free to let us know in the comments below. 
I'm just excited at the possible fatalities these characters could bring to the game, as well as some unique movesets and iconic looks. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to crush that bell icon as well to stay up to date with our latest releases. If you really liked the video and want to help us out, please check out our Patreon, link provided below in the description. You can reach out to us on Twitter, at StudiosFat, or chat with us on Discord, linked below. Before I go, I just want to say, it's all fun and games ripping someone's limbs off or smashing their face so hard their grandchildren will feel it as long as it remains in a video game. Real life violence is not okay, and you should take steps to avoid it if at all possible. There's always a way to de-escalate a situation and walk away. One false move and you might accidentally kill someone, and the reason behind the fight is hardly ever worth throwing your life away. Alright folks, stay safe out there, thanks for checking us out, I've been your host, Jackie K. Peace.